Alright, and we are back with part 9 of the Deathless Run through Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project, using Michelangelo. Alright, now the strategy for Krang, what you'll want to do, is walk him into the back wall. you got to force him into that wall back there. If he does that, oh well, just keep walking him into the back wall. Get above him, edge your way down real slowly until your weapon manages to connect. Once it starts connecting, go go insane with your uh, weapon. You want to be a little bit above him, be, that way his fist won't... Uh, he also not shoot his fist off, you don't want that to contact with you. So you need to be above him far enough to where uh, he won't be able to hit you with that, but you can hit him with your weapon. But yeah, eventually his body will split off. What you want to try to do with Michelangelo, pay attention to the legs and the upper body. Try to line the two of them up to where you can get both with one hit of his special. Otherwise, try to just watch the legs and avoid being kicked by him. But more than anything, do your best to line them up and get both the upper body and lower body with one special. Yeah, his body will eventually reconnect at that point. Walk him back into the back wall. Continue what you did at first. Get above him. Edge your way down until your weapon connects and just unleash the fury. Oh, and uh, eventually every one or two hits that you do to him, he'll put up a force field, but it won't affect you unless you d jump kick him or anything like that. So yeah, that's basically the strategy for Crane. Just follow that and he should be easier. He's still not that, he's still not exactly easy, but he's easier. Now he's just like, uh, shut up and whatnot. Whatever, Crane, go away. And, uh, yeah, next up is Super Shredder. Basically, for Super Shredder, uh, you just gotta use your special to go through him. What you'll want him to do is his lightning attack. At that point, uh, jump kick to where he's at, use your special on him. Uh, don't do anything reckless. If he gets close to you, feel free to use your special to try to go through him, but do not do anything reckless. If you need to, if he if he uh, gets lined up to where he's like walking away from you, walk him into the back, walk him into either side of the room like this. <clears throat> and uh, usually, if if you walk him too far off to the side, he'll teleport like that. And uh, yeah, just try to do your best to avoid getting even with him on the surface. And uh, use your special whenever he does his lightning attack. With Michelangelo, you'll want to space yourself a little bit away. That way you can get more than one hit off with his uh, special. But yeah, like I said, just walk him into the wall. Usually he'll end up doing his special while you're walking him. But yeah. Walk the shredder, anyway. And yeah, all that kind of good stuff. <clears throat> Obviously for a final boss, he has a lot of health and all that. And yeah, like I said, if he teleports as you're walking him, just try to get away and make him start walking him again. Like this. And then try to find a new position, and usually he'll do his lightning attack eventually. Yeah, as you're, after, as you're doing your special, whenever he does his lightning attack, use your special again to go through the lightning without being hurt. But yeah. Hopefully he should be about dead. But yeah, obviously he's the final boss and uh, he's going to have a lot of health. <clears throat> Not that kind of good stuff. He's just about dead, alright. Do your lightning attack, dang it. Lightning, okay, there. And... I'm not about to get hit by him and die at this point. Die, oh boy. Do your lightning attack, Super Shredder. Okay, finally. Alright, nice. Well, Super Shredder is down, and that concludes the Deathless Run through Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project, using Michelangelo. The crank spaceship is blowing up right now and all that kind of good stuff. Like, boom and whatnot. And the turtle blimp. The island's going to be going back down to the ground safely somehow without crashing. And all that kind of good stuff. And uh, cowabunga and all that kind of stuff. Ha ha ha, I made it funny, says Splinter. Anyway. And all that kind of good stuff, the cast of characters. I've now uh, done deathless runs through all the... Through, uh, through Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project, using all four of the Ninja Turtles now. So if uh, 
you just tuned into this one you're curious to see uh, Deathless run with any of the other Ninja Turtles, feel free to check them out. But yeah, and all that kind of good stuff. For some reason I like the blue color uh, Stone Warriors more than the tannish ones. Ground Chuck. Slash, Bebop's little pet turtle. I don't know whether I'd consider Slash like a f fifth uh, Ninja Turtle type person or if I consider Metalhead more of like that, but yeah. Neither one of them's exactly good, but wasn't Metalhead at one point a good guy in the TV show? I'm surprised that they didn't make him a boss in this game. Oh well, though. No biggie. Crane and all that. <clears throat> For you wrestling fans out there who watch like WCW and all that kind of stuff and WWF, I, I watched it before it became WWE and all that kind of crap. I don't watch it anymore, but uh, if you're familiar with who Kevin Nash is, uh, for those of you who don't know, he played Super Shredder in uh, the second Ninja Turtles movie. Just a little bit of Ninja Turtles trivia or wrestling trivia, either way, whichever way you want to look at it. It's kind of funny how few people it takes to make. NES games like this, but yeah. All that kind of good stuff. Well, uh, thanks for watching and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know the drill. Uh, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Well, yeah, like I said, thank you for watching.